Isn't it crazy? Any family. You just yeah. peel up the corner. Doesn't mm -hmm. matter, right? Yeah, yeah but yeah. You, you're, you, you're, when you said that, my eyes Roger Rabbited because <laughs> usually I'm the hillbilly. Like with, oh, with no, the, no. With we the, but, your, but yours was more your yeah. dad doing the right thing. Your dad kind of, no, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're right. He did. He stepped in to take classic, care of his brother. Yeah, it is. a biblical thing. It is. Biblical yeah, it's and also very Shakespearean. It's Italian as well. It's it, a very, yeah, uh, it, you step in and you do the right thing, which my dad was very much that. My dad was a, a gentleman in, in, you know, he was... A, it was had military ethics in the best sense, right? You know, not, not the killing part, <laughs> but the being a gentleman part, yeah. uh, and, and so. But our family, I mean, our family just blew up. We ended up homeless. My sisters and I ended Ooh. up on the road, so for a while. So it was really nuts. And do you now? I'll use your word. Do you get on? Yeah, we do. You do. You still talk to your family? Uh, Yo, oh I, yeah. My sisters and I, my Sheila and Lisa, who are my my blood sisters, if you will, th they helped me write the book. Oh. I just finished the book version of my one man show about my family called Toughen Up, which is based on a quote of my mother when I was crying in a department store in Panorama City. I was crying, and she took me around the corner, and she got in my face, and she said, "Toughen up." I'm not raising a mama's boy. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> she meant it, you know. And as we say, we she, we joke, she wasn't raising anyone at all. <laughs> <laughs> we were being lowered, actually. <laughs> My mother was lowering three children. But then I go on and tell their stories about how she, I mean, the stuff my mother survived was nuts. I mean, it was just so insane. I won't get it. And there's some really bad stuff. But, and then my dad, I mean, two wars, one divorce, no therapy. Right. We, there's a line we, we joke, my sister and I, which is, we think it was my father's tireless work ethic and his combat experience in two wars that prepared him perfectly for marriage to my mother. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was on. My mother was, my mother would pull a knife. My mother would tell the girls, get, get me a knife. She would send them to the kitchen to get <laughs> a knife. What? No lie. And I'm telling you, we had a rule when my sisters and I were writing the book. I mean, I wrote the book and everything, but they, they fact checked me. And then they go, you don't remember this thing? I go, no, I was too tiny. And they go, mom would lean in when they were fighting and go, get me a knife. Go to the kitchen and get me a knife so I can kill your father. Oh and my so God. they would fetch the knife? Yeah. And then the joke was, and get some formula and feed your little brother. <laughs> <laughs> So my mom was practical and everything, but, but, and this stuff, I mean, look, once you know when, so, where someone starts from, you never know where people start from, you know? And so when you, if you were to meet my mother at the end of her life, she's working in a deli bakery at Albertsons. She's renting a room in a house. She just got her license at age 60. Mm -hmm. So, but if you knew where she started from, so that's what I, that's what, that's a lesson. You know, yeah. you never know where people start. Yeah. How did your mom uh, make it out? She's from Jersey, you said. Jersey City. How, how did she find her way here? She was kidnapped by a Catholic priest. <laughs> Wait, Wait, what? what? Yeah, what? my, okay, you asked. <laughs> I'm, look, let's go. I mean, it, I think he probably thought like, oh, she wanted to be in the movies. Like, that's the. <laughs> no, this is what happened. There is a little of that in... Okay, God, here we go. So, my grandmother was having an affair with a Catholic priest, Father Kelly. Okay. And Father Kelly, at one point, decided to take his girlfriend, my grandmother, and my mother, and little Uncle Jimmy, and put them on a train and take them to California and never come back. And my mother's father died. He had a very Irish reaction to it. He just died looking for his children, just dropped dead, poof, you know. So there was all of that drama. But when they got here, it was so insane that they're now kind of living with a Catholic priest and that my mother ran away. The, jo the joke is she ran away to the Jews because she ran away to the Dusick family. He was the biggest makeup man in Hollywood at the time, as I was taught. And as, uh, as a, she was a governess at age 16, 15, to Shelley and Kenny. And Michelle, little Shelley grew up to be Michelle Lee, the actress Michelle Lee from oh, Knott's Landing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The love bug had to succeed in business. Yes. And, and so to the end, this will make me cry. At the end of my mother's life, Kenny became my mom's attorney, right? And, and, but they always called her Momo, Maureen. My mother's name was Maureen, Maureen Patricia Ann Devlin. And, and they never forgot her. And they were, she was always uh, their Momo. So I remember my mother when my mother was dying. She had a bad, really bad wig on, and we're at Cantor's, and we're all crammed into a booth. And there is Michelle Lee feeding my mom soup, oh my and gosh. Kenny is wiping her mouth, and they just were loving her up so much wow. because they never forgot her. So my mom ran away to the Jews, but she also ran away to Hollywood in her own way back in the day. Yeah. And that's how my mom came to California. Jesus Christ. And then she met my dad. My dad took her flying because all the brothers flew when they came out of this service. They all bought a plane. 
The Karens. The Karen brothers who were, they were rough. There were a lot of them and it was, you got a problem, you call the Karens. <laughs> and they wouldn't, uh, no questions asked. And so one of them couldn't take my mom flying. And he goes, can you take this bird flying? Uh, to my dad. So my dad took this bird flying, my mom, and their first date was flying all around the basin, all around LA. That was their first date and took off from there. Unbelievable. Yeah. Boy, that's a long story. No, it's, it's not. It's wonderful. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, this is all the stuff that I'm, I'm writing about. And yeah, it's the book it. and the woman yeah, show. We yeah, got it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to hear the whole conversation, Subscribe for free on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts or visit nevernotfunny.com.